Hello and welcome to this week's news, including a new quest, the Yak Coin store, changes to drilling items, and more. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For RuneScape Guide's content and news, be sure to subscribe. Today's update features the final quest in the Legacy Zamrak series called Succession. You can start this quest by speaking to Adraste in Faldor after meeting the requirements. If you run into any issues with the puzzles, I do have a guide I just made, linked in the description below. The Winter Trials Yak Track has arrived, adding a brand new currency to the game known as the Yak Coin. These coins are a nice addition to the game as they allow you to buy any old Yak Track item, including pets and animations, with the exception of the first Yak Track. These coins will be earned every five tasks during the core yak track, and then with every completion of the repeatable track, you'll earn another. As part of the yak track and yak coin store, you can get a brand new ability override known as Blood Icequake, and this has to be one of the best so far. If you log in today, you should have a reward box sitting in your account as part of the recent login issues compensation. By now, the majority of players should also be able to see a membership code in their account's inbox, which will last for two days. You're able to share this code or use it yourself. In terms of patches, the plant power configuration should now work properly with the Trollheim Her patch. Damage and accuracy tooltips on objects will now be more detailed. Players will now approach the cliff side of the Wilderness Agility course in a sensible manner. Not sure what they mean there, but I did see something on Reddit about some kind of bug related to the Wilderness Agility course. Smithing should no longer be disrupted by the gargoyles in the ruins east of the Wilderness Crater, as a couple of gargoyles have been moved. Since the Infernal Puzzle Box is now the way of preventing adrenaline loss when outside of combat, the Persistent Rage Relic now instead generates adrenaline when outside of combat, always keeping you at 100%. This could be incredibly useful for some AFK methods, including AFK bossing. When your adrenaline is full, the adrenaline urn will now store adrenaline generated by persistent rage as well, although I'm not sure what the point of it is, as the adrenaline urn does not generate adrenaline even when equipped and activated. As part of the new quest rewards, there's now a new dive ability that can be used with any combat style as it doesn't require any weapons to use. When you wield laceration boots or a dual wield melee weapon setup, the ability will automatically change to bladed dive instead if unlocked. Surge and Escape now both require level 30 agility instead of level 30 magic and ranged, although I'm not sure that's going to stay the way it is, as free to play now no longer has access to either of these abilities. Mod BLK Witch has graphically updated the lighting at the Soul Altar and Magister Boss, and completely changed the Deep Wilderness by adding snow to it and graphically updating the Mage Arena both inside and the outside. Nice. Jagex has changed how achievements are listed for the comp cape and changed some things inside the quest list, including the removal of the difficulty field, the creation of the Legacy of Zamrak quest series, and a wilderness quest area category. To end it off, Jagex has done some engine work such as optimization work for certain systems and fixing issues with AMD products and software. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, leave a like down below and maybe consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.